You are welcome to today's video lesson with Bright Edo. In today's lesson, I'll be discussing about a very important aspect in chemistry, and it is on relative atomic mass calculations, whereby in the course of today's class, I'll be focusing on one aspect under this topic, and it is on relative atomic mass calculations dealing with ratio. So in the course of today's class, the data so will be given on these aspects will be ratios. So how do we solve questions on these aspects? It is so very easy and that's what I'll be explaining in the course of today's class. Now, if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share these video lessons with your friends. So with all this said, let's all start. Now, first thing first, there is a formula that must be noted when solving questions on relative atomic mass generally, whereby in this aspect, I'll be explaining how to do that. But before we come over to this aspect, we have to know the general formula that is used to solve questions on relative atomic mass. Now, you can see here BS relative with the acronym ROAM, which is relative atomic mass is equal to percentage one times M1, where I'm going to tell you what each of the symbols actually mean, over 100 plus percentage two times M2 over 100. So this formula must be noted, whereby the symbols here simply means for the first parameter, which is percentage one, let me just write everything, percentage one, M1, percentage two, and M2. Now, it must be noted that percentage one simply means percentage, percentage, abundance of the now one here signifies first isotope because this topic basically for we to basically understand the concept we have to know what isotopy is okay but understanding this aspect is very very important whereby as i earlier said percentage one means percentage abundance of the first isotope and i'm going to tell you how to you know identify the first isotope as we progress to solve the practice question so whereby m1 simply means mass number mass number of the first again because i'm seeing m1 first anything one is first isotope whereby percentage two simply means it's going to take this whereby at the end, here we are seeing first, we will change to second because it's two. So here becomes percentage, percentage abundance of the second isotope. Whereby lastly, which is M2, M2 simply means mass number, Okay, so as we progress in this class, I'm going to tell you how to locate all these parameters when solving practice question. It is so much very easy. So M1, M2 rather simply means mass number of the second isotope. Now with all this said, let's take an example. Before we take that example, I have to explain a very important concept for us. Now let us assume this is an atom. This is an atom X. And here is labeled as A, whereby here is labeled as Z. Because this is how the question will actually come, okay, when we start solving practice questions. So we have to understand the concept in this pattern, whereby, as I earlier said, this is an isotope or an atom that is unknown. So here is X. And always, for any element at all in chemistry, here is always labeled as A, whereby here is labeled as Z. Now, it must be noted that this place that is labeled as A has a name, whereby this particular symbol that is labeled as Z has a name. 
So for this, this is called the mass number. This is called what? The mass number. And if we don't call it mass number, we simply call it atomic mass, as the case may be. Okay? Or if you don't call it those two names, you can call it nucleon number. I did not say neutral number. I said nucleon number. Whereby Z here is called atomic number. Okay? Or if you don't call it that, we simply call it proton number. So in the course of this class lesson, the symbol that we'll be focusing on is A, which is mass number or atomic mass. Did you see anything like atomic number here? No. So with all this said, let us quickly go over to the practice question where I'll be explaining how to solve questions under this aspect step by step. And after explanation, I'll be giving you your practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section below and if you are just joining this community do well to hit the subscribe button to this channel and also share these videos with your friends so with all this said let's progress to the first practice question okay guys with all this said let's quickly go over to the first practice question on this aspect which is relative atomic mass calculations dealing with ratio now, first of all, let me read the question. The question says, an atom has two isotopes. Look at the isotopes here. X2010 and X2210 in the ratio 1, ratio 3, respectively. Calculate the relative atomic mass of X. And we already know that to solve questions on relative atomic mass, a formula must be applied, as Elia said now. And what's the formula? Relative atomic mass is equal to percentage 1 times mass number 1 over 100 plus percentage 2 times mass number 2 over 100. This was the formula I wrote down earlier. But now, were we giving percentages in the question? No. How do we now solve for this particular question using this formula because what they gave us in the question was ratio they did not give up give us percentage so how do we solve this practice question meanwhile first thing first let me write out the parameters the parameters are percentage one is equal to mass number one is equal to percentage two equal to a mass number two equal to now this must be noted you can see that percentages in the question was not given that is what first we will try to determine and I, I, I'm going to explain how to do that whereby for mass number one, mass number two, it was given in the question. Remember I said that mass number is located up, okay? Between 20 and 10, where's the mass number? 20. And between 22 and 10, what's the mass number? 22. And which is our first isotope? This is my first isotope because it actually comes first when you number 20 and 22, which comes first? 20. So it is the first isotope. So I believe now you now know how to determine the first isotope. The, the number that comes first is the first isotope. Whereby for the mass number of the first isotope, was it? It is 20. Whereby the mass number of the second isotope is what? 22. So what we have to try to determine now is the percentages of these isotopes using the ratio value. Now, how do we do that? very easy and it must be noted that each of these atoms or each of these isotopes bears these ratios you can see that they call this and they call this in the ratio of or in the ratio one ratio three respectively so what does this information tells us it tells us that the first isotope which is x 2010 has which of the ratio is it one or three it is one because you know respectively as a word you have to take the one to the first and the other to the other for to this other isotope whereby for the other atom which is x22 sorry 10 10 also what ratio does it occupy three so how do we now determine the percentage abundances of these isotope using this ratio value so very easy now you should watch how to do that now what you simply do for me here is simply to write percentage because now 
this first atom or this first isotope will take which of the percentage will take the first percentage because it was the first isotope whereby the second uh, isotope will take the second percentage so watch how to do that so we simply say percentage one is equal to because that's what we are trying to determine now and this particular is percentage two is equal to watch how to do that it's very very easy so what you should do now is this you can see that this atom bears which of the ratio one one you bring it up you make it the numerator okay you do that first so you rewrite your one over one over the addition of both ratios one plus three watch we are looking for percentage so we must times by 100 that is how it works it is not difficult i recap the uh, uh isotope the ratio number you bring it up over the addition of both ratios given the question so whereby here will become um uh, was ratio it is three over the addition of both ratio times what 100 so with all this said let's impute into our calculator and get values so for the first which is one over one plus three times 100 was that 25 percent i had 25 percent whereby for this other uh representation it is three over one plus three times 100 was that 75 percent so all this done now shows that the calculations are correct so the next step to take here is to simply take this rich this percentage got in add them together if you get 100% and definitely I'm supposed to get 100 which is 25 plus 75 that's 100 percent now when you get 100 percent it tells you that oh the calculations done is very correct so with all this said I believe now you now can determine the percentage abundances of the uh, uh, isotope so for the first isotope was it it is 25 percent whereby for this it is what um 75 percent so with all this said uh we're going to solve using the formula and get our relative atomic mass so get ready for your own practice question so guys let's impute all the parameters into the formula which is relative atomic mass which we are looking for is equal to the percentage one value which is 25 percent times mass number one value which is 20 over 100 plus percentage two value 75 percent times mass number two value was that 22 over 100 so with all this said let's impute into our calculator and get our answer so 25 times 20 over 100 that's five here is five okay relative atomic mass is equal to five plus let's solve for this so 75 times Twenty-two over hundred was that sixteen point five. Okay, so this plus this value that five plus sixteen point five that's twenty-one point five. That's the relative atomic mass of this isotope. Remember, relative atomic mass doesn't have an SI unit; it's just a number like that. So, with all this said, get ready for your own practice question okay guys this is the practice question you will be solving i will provide the answer in the comment section below you can see it's similar to the question i just solved now and it's so very easy now if you find this video helpful do well to click the subscribe button to this video lesson and also share with your friends thanks for watching